Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some home improvements. I don't know, some some stuff. But right now my main um, objective is to get my television, Samsung, I think it's a 50 inch or 60, I think it's 55 inch TV down off the bracket. Um, right now it isn't working. And the technician is coming out on Monday to repair it. The problem is it cannot be hung before. They won't take it down for you. They'll cancel the appointment. So I live alone. I'm single. And I'm trying to figure out how to take this down. So it is in my bedroom. You guys have seen my bedroom before. And I was told by a friend of mine, um, she know who she is. She said that my backdrop is not becoming and I should fix it up for you guys. Please leave a comment in the description. I mean, leave a comment below and let me know what you guys feel. Talk about that later. But um, I need to figure out how to take this down. So I have a few ideas. Um, sipping on some wine, I was listening to some music. Should I maybe act like, oh my God, I didn't know you had to take it down. Can you help me? That kind of thing. Or should I, uh, I was gonna like put a harness on, make some sort of mix, makeshift harness, put that on. I was gonna pull my bed up so I have something soft to catch it if it falls. And um, put a harness around my neck over the television, unscrew it, which I'm not sure if I should do manual. Cause the, the screws are loose, I tried. So should I do manual? Or should I do an electric screwdriver so it can be quick? I can't think of any other way. So, someone would say, well, all you gotta do is just pick it up and, no. This one, for some reason, I'm not sure if it's old school, I'm not certain. The other TV brackets that I have around the house, I saw the guy, just like a French cleat, he just put it on to the, um, the French cleat. So um, this one is screwed into the back of the wall and this one is also screwed into the wall. I'm sorry, back of the television and into the wall. Um, I can't figure out how to um, take it down any other way. Um, I asked someone to come over and help. I never heard back, so I, I, I moved on. This is the single life for you, you know, when you want things done. And this is simple. So think about it. I paid a good amount of money to have these TVs um, put up. Actually, I heard too much, but whatever. And I'm just assuming just that call him over here, I would have, probably have to pay the same because once they fix it, I need it put back, take it down. I don't know how that works. So anyway, I'm just trying to think of ways to take it down. I'm going to take a picture, I'm going to pause the tape, and I'm going to show you guys how to, what it looks like in the back. And then I am going to try to do one or two of these things and then figure it out from there. And hopefully I can catch this all on tape. And oh, by the way, guys, I know how to edit. So some of my videos may be edited and some of them may not be. <laughs> um, That's it. I have on my headscarf today. I'm not certain if I... I came back with the lock video where we could talk about that on another on another video, um, but it would be in my way, so that's why I have my lock my my head scarf so on. I have two different ones. I did put on a little lipstick because you know, hey, I'm taping, and uh, I have on a, a night dress. You could, I mean, you could probably wear this out as a sundress, but it has little pockets on it, which I freaking love. No shoes. It is Friday. I think it's the 8th, December the 8th. I don't know. Whatever, it's December the 8th, because Monday is the 11th. So yes, yeah, December the 8th is Friday. I've been home all day, that kind of thing. And I'm just trying to get through some things. I'm not certain if you could, oh, the picture, I moved it. There's a picture over there, and I might add that once I get this accomplished, because I will accomplish this. I can do all things through Christ. So once I get this accomplished, my next thing is to put my picture back up against, over my wall. And I might do a cleaning, a, a straightening up video, because my house is very clean. So a straightening up video, I might attach that to this if it's not too long or short. All right, so let me 
pause the video, show you the back of the TV. I'm gonna move the bed, go get my electric drill, figure all those things out, and then boom. All right, so we back. I pulled the TV out as far as I could for good video purposes. I didn't want to overextend it. But this is a great um, bracket. It even has the leveler in it. Not certain if all of them do. Um, he did a, a fabulous job. I, I freaking love it. I have no complaints about what he did. He's from my area, so it doesn't make sense for me to even whatever. But this, these are the four screws. I was going to like big him up in a video. It's not even worth it. Um, and I'm going to try to unscrew them. I've already loosened them or tried to see how tight it is. They're very loose. Oh, I ain't going to say very loose. They're loose. So I could do this with a screwdriver. The thing is, when you're screwing, unscrewing something like this, the weight will fall on the last screw. So I don't know. It's, it's just baffling to me. But anyway, I'm going to try that. Um, and I'm gonna just go get all the equipment and I'll be right back. I don't want to make the video too long, but yeah, that's that. I did try to clean off some of the dust before you guys got here, but honestly, I don't think I care right now. Okay. Okay. I'm back. And if I'm breathing heavy, it is what it is. All right. So I got the Craftsman screwdriver bits and some cords from upstairs i'm not certain if excuse me from downstairs in the basement i'm not certain if this will work it's soft so it doesn't scratch my tv and it's strong soft and strong so we're gonna see another thing i was just thinking of when i was in the basement was however i get this down i would have to be under the ass assumption that the television technician if they can even fix this TV, um, will help me put it back up. If not, I, I would have to do this on my own again. So whatever techniques I use to get it up, to take it down, I, I, I'm under the assumption that I'm going to have to do it again by myself. So whatever techniques I use, I'm going to do, just do it in reverse, hopefully. All right, then. Hold on again. So by putting my television, I mean, my telephone back my cell phone back into the bracket two different videos i'm gonna have to see how i can edit and merge this together oh boy anyway um sipping on my wine because it gives you courage um so harness oh and i was also thinking of belts like you know your belts i have good belts i have good work belts so you know and then I have a few belts that I don't even use, so they're also good. So maybe that. I'm trying to figure out how to. This this has a thing at the. This has a. You don't want that. I really don't want anything getting in my way. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out how to loop that around. I will figure that out. Put the harness. Put the. Uh, what is that called? The hook. Put the hook in the back, maybe. So this way it's not it's not anywhere near the screen. So at least that part is on. And then somehow or another, scrap this around the television and me. <laughs> because basically, when I pull the TV down, so this is how I'm envisioning this. When I pull the TV down, it's all the way off. It's no, no, no nuts, right? The nuts are going to fall on the floor or the bed because I'm going to pull the bed up. When I step back, the TV is going to be right here on me. This is how I envision this. Okay. Uh, someone maybe in the comments would be like, oh, by the way, I'm going to add that maybe to the front. My family would actually look at my videos. And instead of writing in the comment section, they will text me. Wow. <laughs> Mind blown. Okay. So anyway, something like that. Um, I don't know if the little knot I tied in the back is sufficient, but let me tell you what will happen. Time. We will see all of these things. Okay. 
So let me get myself adjusted. I'm going to pause this video, this, this video, and then come back. I got to stop looking at myself. Okay, so I moved my bed all the way up. Give you a quick pan. I have two or three mirrors in my room, so don't sweat that. So I moved the bed all the way away from the wall. Yes, I got hula hoops back there. And I'm trying to position my tripod because I only have one. You know, some of those other YouTube channels, they have like two and three videos going, I mean, tapes going on at one end, side, at one time. So when they edit, they could just chop up, you know, whatever. Not I yet. All right. So this is it. So, um, oh, that's another obstacle I thought of. I'm not certain if that showed, but I do have a fan right over my bed. And being at my, I'm 5'7", I'm going to start saying 5'8". <laughs> and um, I just have to watch out when I turn around. Is it on? I'm not sure if I'm good. Yeah, I think the red, I can't see. I can't see. I just hope it is. Well, it's not. Hold on. Don't look. This bed is tall. Okay, so the red means it's gone. Okay, so it is on. I hope I can edit that out. So this is my thinking, like, I got this secure, like a harness around me. Look, wrap this up here. So these are two um, head scarves or uh, scarves. I don't want this hook to come around. Okay, I think this might work, guys. I didn't do a probability. No I wrapped the thing, but don't have the. Okay, hold on. It's not tied yet. this in my pocket somehow. This is why you have pockets, ladies. Pockets or thighs? Wait, wait. Okay, it's so many dangerous things. Don't try this at home. But that pocket thing is not going to work. Don't look under my dress. Put it between my knees. Yeah. That's how I had it originally before. Okay, this, uh, whatever this is called, this hook cannot come around to the front. I do not want this hook to hit my television. It'll just be like pointless. Okay, I think this is good. Huh? I don't know. It felt different when I, before I reached down to get the. I felt more secure before I had the thing in my hand. Did I have it wrapped around, around my neck? It is around my neck, I think. All right. And you know what? I am right. Bring it up. Okay. I'm going to bring it... Wait, bring it up, hook this. No, I got too much rope on me as opposed to the TV. So let's go through. I wish I could stand on the other side of my TV so that this way I'm not really concerned about scratching the face. And I think I might have a film on top of this thing. All right, so I have some tension on the little rope. Where is that hook? Okay. And um, how am I gonna untie myself? We gotta worry about one thing at a time. So right now, I'm doing my fake Girl Scout knot. <laughs> okay, let's we'll see how this works. And I wanna say, just because I was drinking wine earlier does not mean I'm drunk. I just started drinking. Okay. All right, I feel I don't feel secure about this. I don't feel confident about this. Hold on, let me see something. I was gonna try to slide my shoulder into that. I'm right-handed, so I try to slide my left shoulder inside the 
harness thing. I'm not sure if I unharness myself in some magic Houdini. So, my thinking is just let the nuts fall. Unfortunately, they're not. Okay, that one wouldn't fall on the floor. I already have my drill in the reverse, reverse mode. Can I feel the weight? Two of them are already off. I can't feel the weight yet. Go number three. Now that fell. And this one won't fall. That fell. Uh -oh. Now we got the TV down, guys. It wasn't that bad. I held the TV in my left arm. Ladies, get to the gym. Okay, so now, like Houdini, you can't see me, but I'm trying to take the TV off. But that wasn't too bad. Okay, make sure the hook doesn't hit the TV. You go through all of this and the hook hit the front of the TV. That wasn't too bad, see? Okay, so now I'm just unraveling myself, making sure that when I lay the TV down, I'm gonna lay it on its back because there's really nothing that's gonna fall on the front of it. Okay. <sighs> the Adventures of Karanda. Okay, so that was good. You know what? Let me tell you something about this experience. I am a person that believes that I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I am more than a conqueror. So I had said that I was going to do this to someone. Tell, I told someone that I was going to do this. And that person, I said it confidently a little bit. And then as time went on, I, I was getting more and more confident, but whatever. And when I said it to someone particularly, they mentioned like, oh, and their fear got into me. So watch how you tell people things. Know who you're speaking with. Don't let everyone's spirit enter your situation. I really was confident that I could do it before I had the conversation. But hey, we there now. Do a little dance, do a little dance, do a little dance. Okay, wait, wait. And get a little sip, okay. All right. So now that that's done, I'm gonna have to put my room back together. You know, push the bed out. Um, while I'm in the hoo 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 mode, I'm gonna hang up my picture. Um, my little sexy picture over my bed. I'm gonna pause the tape, put some things away, come back, da da da. You know the routine.